Hey everybody, Dan Warpaint JKU, and this really super fast video today, I'm even filming it on my cell phone, not even taking the time to use crazy camera equipment, but I'm gonna be installing a locking hub very, very briefly, showing you the guts of it, how it works. So if you were ever curious, wanted to know what it did, how it worked, and what the benefits are, you're gonna wanna check this out. I also have a uh, pretty cool little fact that's not all that commonly known by today's Jeepers that I will uh, let you guys in on. So check it out. Locking hubs, all right, first thing they do is you have an axle shaft in the center of your hub that obviously is connected to your front axle. Um, I'm gonna make that real brief, real quick, but basically when you drive down the road in a factory Jeep, the guts of your front axle, right? Your front drive shaft, your ring and pinion, all that kind of stuff, your axle shafts, it's all turning because they are actually fully locked to the hubs and connected to the wheels at all times. Um, with a Super Duty Dana 60 or a lot of other one ton axles, that is not the case. You actually can disconnect the hubs, which means you're basically unlocking the wheel and hub assembly with the bearings that turn your front wheel from the axle shaft. So that means while you're driving down the road, that ring and pinion in the front, that front drive shaft, those axle shafts, none of those are turning and spinning. Gives you a little bit better fuel mileage a lot less wear and tear on your front end and allows you to get away with good caster angle and a maybe a little bit of a steeper drive shaft angle that might cause some vibration in other situations at like highway speed but it's not rotating anymore right so it's it's kind of a benefit it's really really nice now the way your locking hub does that is you basically take this your axle shaft slides inside of it and then it has a switch on the front that will use this mechanism here to basically uh, disconnect it from that axle shaft or relock it together. Now, the original uh, Super Duty axles, right, uh, before 2005, they had a factory locking hub that was not nearly as strong as the locking hubs that were on the later axles from 2005 up to the present day. Um, so that's what we have here. Uh, it's still a Ford locking hub and we'll get to that fun fact in a second. Um, but basically you're going to line it up on the splines. You're going to push it in. There's a gasket that goes around the inside. So you're going to want to make sure that's on there and that you don't tear it. They'll sometimes fight with you a little bit, but they're not too bad. You just kind of want to line up the bolt holes, kind of send it home. And then there are three bolts. Now these do not get torqued all that much at all. They are almost basically machine screws. I've seen them with hex heads. I've seen them with Allen keys in them. This one actually has a Torx bit uh, in the end of it. So you're gonna put them in, you're just gonna snug them up, nothing crazy. That gasket will keep all that moisture out of there that you don't want. If a little bit does get in there, everything's covered in grease anyway. It's not a big deal and that's all there is to it. Uh, if you're just changing your locking assembly, it's very, very simple. Now, the fun fact, okay, in this very simple, unedited YouTube video, uh, the fun fact is basically that Ford, years ago, right, because this, this locking hub actually says Ford on it, um, Ford actually made Jeeps, right? So I don't mind the fact that the locking hubs on my rig and now on Maple Leaf um, which is a friend's rig. I don't mind that they say Ford. That doesn't really bother me. Uh, some people question it when they're not sure. Uh, you just explain to them what the axle is, but it's kind of a tribute, right? Which is kind of cool because back in the day, Jeep was actually made not by Jeep. It wasn't its own thing. It wasn't a Mopar. Uh, it was made by uh, American Motors Corporation, uh, AMC. And when they first made Jeeps back in the uh, you know World War era, um, and I'm not exactly sure of the exact years uh, when Ford hopped in and started making them. I, I can't remember, so I don't want to misspeak. Um, so you're going to have to look that up. But Ford, basically, AMC couldn't keep up with the demand early on during the World War era. And uh, they basically uh, 
Ford stepped in and Ford helped and Ford, you know, wound up building a lot of the Jeeps back in the time period. So kind of cool, kind of a cool fact, but our locking hub is in. Um, it's now free. It's locked. They work really well. They're super strong. If you're rock bouncing, making a ton of horsepower, that kind of stuff, really, really, really super hard and aggressive uh, on your vehicle, you may want to upgrade to something like a Warren. Um, they make a really good, uh, higher quality locking hub. But like I said, the later model locking hubs for the later model axles on those Super Duties are perfectly fine. Now, guys, we do have giveaway builds coming. Okay, uh, they are coming to the YouTube channel. I am super stoked to announce the first one eventually. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna do that just yet, but they are on the way. So if you guys like what we're doing here and you support this, 80% uh, of the people that watch these YouTube videos are not subscribers and it makes a big difference and will just get us to bigger, better, cooler, more fun giveaway vehicles sooner. So uh, make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, it is absolutely free. All you need is a Gmail account. Most of you have a YouTube account. You don't even realize it, right? Because you have a Gmail account and uh, Google owns YouTube like they do with the rest of the world. So uh, if you have a Gmail account, it's very simple to log in and subscribe. You don't even need to select notifications if you don't want all that junk on your phone. And uh, it makes a big difference to the channel. So definitely click that subscribe button, get out there, build something. And uh, kind of a cool fun fact about Ford and Jeep and their uh, relationship there.